Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 30th of August 2020 and it's a reading that is dedicated to the sign of Gemini. That being said, this is a um, this is a general reading so it is not going to resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest of it aside. If, however, you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the um, necessary information. You can also find all the information in order to contact me into the YouTube Dropbox. With that being said, if you do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it's greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. Um, also, at the end of this reading, please do stay tuned. My following reading is going to be entitled, um, Will They Leave Their Partner For Me? That is the following reading. So, as of today, your daily snapshot, this is all about fairy reflections. So they're a little bit longer than usual, but they are just full of wisdom. So here is your card. You have spirit. This is spirit is a flow of insight into the true self. Now, you're a spirit within a physical body, so you need to trust your spirit to pilot your life, and you'll live a harmonious balance between the inner and the outer worlds. Spirit itself is the source of knowledge. It's a flow of insight into the true self. It's the grand consciousness of being alive, and it's the driving force behind what we think, what we say, and what we do. All your thoughts originate from this spirit core. Spirit is something to be felt and experienced. It is the living, the feeling, rather than trying to understand what it's all about. You need to pay attention to your inner voice. And this is your spirit and mind connecting. Age is not assessed by your earthly time and years, but by your spirit. You could be 20 and feel like 60 or be 60 and feel like 20. It is all up to you to determine what your true age is based on, on, you know, on how you feel. You often hear the term lifting of the spirits when feeling heavy hearted. How can the spirits be lifted? The spirit has no mass, but can be weighed if self-esteem is damaged. A spirit can be crushed, but it cannot be killed. You already possess everything you need to become a spiritual dynamic. Now, there are many ways to embark into the act of lifting your spirit. For example, playing a song that you love can take you through the experience of moving to higher levels and it rushes you into every being that is connecting you to the piece of that music. Your spirit is strong. You have a warm light that is pulsating within the constant flow of your energy and always within you and always in pursuit of bringing you to greater levels of knowledge. And when you put spirit in charge of your life, you can reap benefits such as increased health and mental and emotional stability. You need to grant your spirit the freedom it needs to soar and you'll discover places that you have never thought you'd find. You need to let your spirit lift you and guide you and never let it be held back by anyone or anything again. This is your daily snapshot for the day. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that you are going to apply it. I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. Please don't forget to stay tuned for the following reading. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you and have a great day.